Hey there, it's Brandon from Virtual DJ, back with another tip of the day. Now with the release of Virtual DJ 2025, we've overhauled the sampler and added new fun and cool ways for you to be creative with the combination of traditional and stem swaps banks. This allows you to easily remix on the fly and create redrums and interesting word plays to make your audience go crazy. Here's what's new. To access the sampler on a standard 8-pads controller, press the sampler pad mode button on the controller or select the sampler pad page with your mouse in the decks. Additionally, if you have a dedicated main sampler controller, then you can enable the main sampler window in the side view. To change sampler banks, press the parameter left or right buttons on your controller or in the DEX pad area. And you can also click here to see a list of all of your available banks. Now there are two types of banks, traditional banks and stem swaps banks, which are special and marked with an S. Examples of some of the pre-installed traditional banks include our classic audio effects with favorites like the air horn and explosion. Some new banks that are available in 2025 include a drops bank for you to tease your audience with. You ready for this? Yeah, baby. Also new for 2025 is the I Know This Bank, which has some familiar hooks for you to have fun with. Also now available is a new video samples bank for you to add a little video effects with classic shadow dancers, count ups and countdowns and more. The second type of bank, and new for 2025, are the Stem Swaps banks. Now these banks are a little different from traditional banks, as instead of layering their sound on top of the track, they instead swap their stem parts with the track stem parts. The Loopmaster Stem Swap Bank is included to help you quickly remix drums, percussion, and bass lines. Now because this bank has more than 8 samples, you can easily toggle between samples 1 and 8 and 9 through 16 using the second set of parameter buttons left and right. Go ahead and load a track into a deck and press play. Now using the deck sampler pads, you can now easily replace the stem parts by simply clicking. Now keep in mind that if you trigger a sample in the main sampler window versus in the DEX pads area, then the sample will behave as a traditional one and not stem swap. Now also note that stem swap sample audio will always be output through the trigger deck. However, traditional sample audio can be selected to your preference. Now by default, it's set to a master output if one is available, but you can set for a specific deck or trigger deck if you wish. To help you get started with recording your own stem swap samples, we've included the My Bank Stem Swap Bank. Note that the top row of four samples is set to vocals, while the bottom row of four is set to beats. Now you can record on the fly or by placing the playback head at the position you wish to create the sample. In this example, I want to create a sample of the vocals. Simply click on an empty vocal pad in the top row to create the sample. Then click on the pad to listen to it. You are the you. Now by default, the length of the stem sample is set to the beat count in the DEX loop controls. So in this case, it's four beats. Now you can specify a specific beat count in the options menu. However, for on the fly remixing, it's easier to simply change the loop controls. So instead of a four beat sample, let's change to a 16 to get a full phrase. Now to delete the sample, right click on the pad with your mouse or hold shift on your controller, then press the corresponding pad. And now press the pad again to record our 16 beat vocal sample. Next, let's go ahead and grab a two-bar sample of the drums. In the DEX waveform display, move the playback to the position that you wish, then change the loop control to 8, then press the bottom pad to grab an 8-beat drum loop sample. Now that we have our samples, you can use them to remix and easily mash up the tracks that you have playing in the other decks and swap out the vocals and stem parts just like this. Additional settings available in the Swap Bank Options menu are you can lock or unlock the bank to prevent any changes or new recording. Additionally, you can also specify what stems parts each pad will record. Now you can choose individual or any combination of the stem parts or select to record the entire track. Also in the Options menu, you can select to open the bank directly in the main Virtual DJ browser. 
Clicking on the cog wheel next to the sample will open it in the sample editor. Here you can change what stem part the sample will play, any key changes, and other sample settings. Additionally, in the sampler folder, you can create subfolders in order to help organize as your collection grows. Simply drag and drop to rearrange or to add any bank to any subfolder. And the last bank to discuss is the per track sample bank. Now this allows you to set samples for that track specifically and will be instantly recalled and available to use every time you reload that particular track. As you can see, the new sampler in Virtual DJ is extremely powerful and will help you to creatively remix tracks on the fly and have a lot of fun doing so. That'll do it for this tip of the day. We hope you found it helpful. If you have an idea you'd like to see in our next video, email us tipoftheday at virtualdj.com.